and welcome to Magneto vs. the World. I decided to I decided to restart the series because I forgot to turn my microphone up uh, during my last recording. Uh, so I've got my microphone at maximum, so this time there should be no problems with uh, hearing me. Uh, so I'll be playing as the civilization of Genoshua, uh, with Magneto as their ruler. Uh, she's pretty awesome. And the other con competitors to win will be Black Panther from Wakanda, Captain America from America, uh, Doctor Doom from Latveria, Emma Frost from her Frost Empire, uh, which I don't actually think the Frost Empire is an actual thing, but for the for her Civ, the kind of just gave her something. Um, Iron Man from Stark Empire, Loki from Jotunheim. Thor from Asgard, Red Skull from Hydra, of course, and Miss Marvel from the Marvel Corps. Alright, so let's get this started up. Start game. So it has Magneto in the opening. To live among the stars. To rule kingdoms, to guide entire nations. Only to find oneself here. A self loathing man might see this as a deserved punishment. A vain man might compare this to... The Christian devils fall from the heaven. Me, I think the coffee is not terrible. I have been known by many names. Max... Uh, Eric Lyncher. Magnus Magneto. Each name marks its own sin. And one day I'll answer for those offenses, but not today. Only my actions, you know, what I do in a name of all mutants, hold any real meaning. Magneto. So, land units get a random unique promotion after their first combat, because they're uh, mutants. He gets a core lights later on, and I have two movement, plus they'd also have the unique promotion, and magnetic foundry, which gives plus 10% production when building land units. Each source of iron, aluminum, and uranium worked by the city produces plus one production and grants one iron. Alright, so let's begin our journey. Right, let's have a quick look at the surrounding area. Okay, no coast over there. So, if I settle on top of here, the hill with the sheepy sheeps, that's going to give me a hill, um, river, and I'll be two away from a mountain, which is a pretty good spot to start. So we'll do that. We've got some marble to help with wonders. And some wine. And one, two, three. We got wheat. We got deer. And we're in the plains, so there's uh, lots of uh, lots and lots and lots of production. So it's a pretty good spot. So click next turn. <coughs> oh, apologies. Oh, Had a bit of a cough for a couple of days now. All right. So I guess for our first episode, we'll go to about turn 50. All right. Let's plop down our new city called Hammer Bay. Uh, we'll keep exploring this way. Hey, we found some runes. In a pretty good spot for a second city. Lots of wine, some jungle area. Looks pretty nice, actually. Alright, so, um, I think we go pretty long term with my, my stuff. Um, wait a minute. Right in is the one I'm supposed to do first. Adur. Then we go bloop, bloop. Uh, let's go bloop, 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 bloop. Then we'll go all the way over here and go bloop, 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 bloop. And then bloop. Man. So now we don't even have to worry about research for like the longest time ever. So we'll do a monument. Show queue. Add queue. Monument worker. And we've already moved you guys, so next turn. So what we'll probably do with the warriors is we'll grab this rune and then we'll swing back around and kind of do a circular pattern for exploration. Oh yeah, clearly drawn map. Well, it showed us another rune though. There's another civilization over there, so we're going to want to beeline it for this rune here. <coughs> Unfortunately, it's going to take forever to get, over, to get through this jungle. Oh. 
I know Jungle gives you a science boost later on, but it's so annoying. <sighs> I mean, a jungle start is pretty good because you can take the Pantheon that gives you culture for your jungle tiles. And then get science for it. But it's uh, not optimal for an early start. There we go. We got a survivor. So we've got a free population in our city right here. Bam. And now we're no longer grown. Why are we no longer grown? Oh, silly game. Should be plenty of food here. Base four, and there's four even by citizens. What tiles are my citizens working? So they're working this tile and they're working that tile. Okay. That's kind of annoying. Um, be nice if. Uh, <coughs> oh, someone already found a pantheon. Yeah, ranged goddess of protection. Which is usually the first one the AI goes for, for some reason. I usually go for the God King if I don't start off in the jungle. Or, very rarely, it has to be like a really good start. I would do like the plantations. But, usually it's God King. Like, all the time. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now we got some food. Ah, it's because we got the deer now. Ooh, 13 culture. Nice. Alright, so, I'm going to open up Tradition, bam. I'm going to get a culture, another thing to pick next turn because of that culture we got. Not too shabby. Alright, we'll grab Liberty and open that one up. I do, normally when you start one you want to go through and finish it, but I do things kind of in a weird fashion. It puts me behind in a way certain ways, but I think it I feel it also helps me get ahead in other ways. But we'll we'll see how that works out. We'll go go around here, I guess. Go around the mountain. <clears throat> no ruins there. Well we have found the coast at least. This always happens what would make me know. I'm always like just a few tiles away from the coast, but I'm, I can't find it. And I'm just like, Psh. And there's a barbarian camp super close to our city. So let's actually send the warriors back. Um, yeah, so you guys should be good to make a farm over there. Because there's no way for them to steal my workers. <coughs> now if they move here... Uh, then I've got to worry that they can steal my workers. Uh, fine, we'll just hide them in there until we get rid of the barbarians. Which is annoying, because that's going to put us behind on working on the train. We've got the weedy wheat, the weedies. There we go, got rid of them. Okay, so our first mutant has aerial adaptation. I was reading that. So plus three of send combat strength and open trains and double movement on hills. So not too shabby. Alright, um put you guys over there. So you can work on that farm I wanted you to work on. So we're actually gonna get the shrine, the monument, and we built a worker done before we get uh, our write in, because once we get the write in, we've got to uh Beeline the uh, the great library to library to the all the booky books because the great library is always one I go after, which is usually why I do this weird one like this weird way because usually before I start I can usually open both of these and get this which gives me plus fifteen percent production when Bowden wonders. And happiness doesn't really matter um, yet. And then this is the next one I go for is Republic, which is plus one production in every city and five percent production in cities when constructing buildings. Then I grab the free settler. <coughs> so 
So we'll work in a greenery for one turn. Oh, there's a rune there. All right, so this is a plane, so we should have troops and combat bonus there, which we did not seem to. <coughs> oh, good times, good times. Um, let's go with shock. We'll heal up just so we don't lose them. Now we got to switch us around. So great library, fourteen turns by turn. 31 on quick. That's actually not too bad. Then what we'll do is we'll go here, add the queue, and the granary. So we are going to need that granary. Because the food here is not great. Even though it should be. Like, what What are my people working on? They're working that tile, the deer, and the marble. Okay. Should be doing better food wise then. <clears throat> Alright, let's next turn it up. Let my mutants heal a little bit more. That way they can get ready to kick some ass. Oh, there's a lot of barbarians now. There must be another barbarian camp that spawned over here, because now there is a million barbarians. Hooray! <laughs> oh, no. Didn't mean to move you guys there. Um, you, you worker can move back there. Now we got a farm. Okay, we're working the farm instead of the marble, which is good for growth, but not great gold-wise. But I suppose we'll survive. <clears throat> oh, oh my. Um, yeah, so we'll plop that, <clears throat> go here, all right, because we're on the deer, so our citizens aren't working on the deer anymore, oh dear, <laughs> yeah, oh, all right, um, Okay, good. Our warriors are still alive. Barbarians have backed off. Wah! Yeah, killed them good. And you can only get so many, so much experience fighting barbarians. Eventually, when we attack them, we're not going to see any experience above their head anymore. Which is kind of unfortunate. But, I mean, it helps balance the game. Because I could just keep this camp alive and keep farming it. And then have like super powerful units that have like a million promotions. This way, this forces you to uh, basically only get a couple of levels, and then if you want more levels, we're well, gonna have to deal with the other civilizations. And the dogs hear something outside, and they're getting all barky, which is a common occurrence because they're silly. <clears throat> All right. Um, so, as I said, uh, the God King is probably the best for my area. So I'm going to grab that. It's lowered it then six turns. So now it will be turn 30 whenever we get the Great Library. Which is really good. All right, so we've got our other farm done. All is good. Now let's go take on these stupid barbarians because they're going to try and wreck all of our stuff that we've worked so hard on. So it's going to be four more turns before I can work on the marble. So I may as well just go here and make another farm. <clears throat> it's unfortunate my gold's not doing so well. It uh, would have been nice to uh, purchase another unit and see what other promotion I got. All right, so it's always best to hit them with range before you do the melee. That way your melee units will take less damage. So let's grab Republic. And still turn 30, so that extra... The extra production then super help at this point, with how much production we've already got, which is 11. Which is pretty good for early game. I usually go for cover next, give them protection against ranged attacks. Because ranged barbarians are just annoying. 
Oh, and there's another barbarian. Yeah, so there must be another camp down here. <coughs> I feel kind of hesitant leaving my workers out there, but they, they should be fine. I'll wait for my warriors to level up first, and then, or to level up, to uh, heal up first. Then I'll send them back to uh, dispose of the uh, barbarian camp. Now I'll probably have to send them up here to see where all these barbarians are coming from up here. Uh, barbarians are just awful. Yeah, great library. Wham. Alright, that barbarian is almost dead. So, I usually grab uh, drama and poetry. Bam. That launches us into the classical era. So, uh, now we'll add some stuff to the queue. So, we can build the mausoleum, which you gain 100 gold each time a great person is expanded. So, I'll show you that later once we start getting great people. Each source of marble or stone worked by the city produce plus 2 gold. We got a source of marble. So we'll go for the mausoleum. Pyramid requires liberty, which is why I open it. Tile improvement construction speed increased by 25%, and we get two free workers. So we'll grab that. Then we'll queue up the Parthenon. Basically all the Parthenon does is it gives us plus four culture, and it gives us a great work of art or artifact slot, and it gives us a pre-built great work of art. Uh, so that's helpful if we decide to go for, like, the uh, tourism victory, <clears throat> where we try and spread our tourism to everyone else. Um, it, there used to be a, an actual culture victory, where if you finished, like, three or four of these, you'd win, but then they change it to tourism, which, when you're planning against actual people, it's, like pretty much impossible to win by tourism. You have to be like super sneaky because once people start seeing that you you've uh, influenced other people other civilizations they'll usually all mount like a massive attack against you and then you're like I am the dead um, <clears throat> so tourism is a really hard one to win with um Basically, which optimally what you want is when you're going for the tourism victory, you really want someone else to be really close to a science victory. So that way, whoever's left, or if everyone's still left, if it's been a relatively peaceful game, they've got to, the other players have to decide, all right, do we stop the tourism, or do we stop the science, or do we try and split our forces and stop them both? Next turn. <coughs> there we go. So we're going to have seven turns for the mausoleum. Uh, usually what I try and do is wonder hog. I try and get all the wonders for me. It does put me behind in certain areas, but... It's... Oh, don't worry. They can't get you. Yeah, we got marble. Nice. Nice six turns. So we'll have... We'll hopefully have our second wonder by about turn 40, 41, which is pretty optimal. Now, they're not getting any experience anymore, so there's no point in making them attack. So I'll just do that and make them heal. Now, did we learn construction yet? I don't even know if we did. We're working on learning archery. Ah, oh, someone got the pyramids. Ouch. That kind of sucks, because I usually like having the pyramids and... Uh, this policy right here, uh, citizenship, because that makes the construction rate by 25% uh, for tiles, and then the pyramid does that, so then you get like 50% bonus. Also, I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> oh, apologies for that. My, uh, for some reason, ever since I upgraded the Windows 10 Nothing seems to work correctly anymore, so I had to buy, like, a cheap headphone to do my recordings, because my, uh, 
my good headphone had like a million percent static since I upgraded to Windows 10. And I was supposed to stay there to see if I could actually build a lumber mill yet. I am smart. Oh, I'm actually pretty sure I can't, so. <clears throat> if I can't, our next destination is to go to the Deers. Uh, no, we're, I think we're working on that now, actually. So yeah, we'll head over to the Deers and see what we can do over there. So, one more turn left for the mausoleum. Hopefully none of the uh, compute. Computer AIs grab it. So you've worked long and hard on the mausoleum, so that'd be like super unfortunate if they, uh. Yeah, we can't get a deer anymore. I hate barbarians so much, like. <laughs> Fine, we'll go with the horses. Alright, free settler. Which spawns as close as possible to the uh, new barbarians. Excellent. Oh, all right. Um, there's a couple of places. Uh, this place looked pretty good. And lots of wine. But I do kind of want a coastal city. And this would be shorter to make a road to. So I could put it, I guess, here. And we'd get the wine, we'd get the wheat, we'd have a hill, and we'd have a coastal. So I think I'll do that. I'm going to have to put them here and then put them here. Got to go kind of a safe route because of all these stupid barbarians. Oh, we, we met Thor. Ah, oh, he took ruin. Ah, Thor, you suck. <clears throat> oh, I guess we have to heal. So we met. We met Thor. So is this Thor? I don't think so, because that looks like different colors. So I can't remember, I'm not actually sure who's down there, but we are going to find out at some point. <clears throat> Alright, what's an embassy? Alright, let's accept your embassy, Thor. Okay, you're way down here. Alright. Now what are you doing down here exploring, you big jerk face? Hopefully he'll deal with those barbarians. Uh, so we took 15 damage, but we heal for 20, so you know. Uh, we're fine to just stay here and heal until we feel confident enough to cut these hand axe barbarian jerkwoods. Hmm. Actually, it might be worthwhile settling here. That would still be relatively short. And we'll get more tiles for this city. Yeah, we'll do it that way. We can shoot someone, these new barbarians that are approaching. Whoa! <clears throat> oh, that went poorly. I think we've just lost our first Genosian mutants. Because these barbarians are probably going to run down. Oh no, they're still alive! That's amazing! Shoot them! Shoot them with prejudice! <laughs> um. I don't like my odds. It seems like I'd win, but just to be in the safe side. Um, so I guess we'll start on a shrine here, because we do want to try and get our religion. I remember that I get the mausoleum, I got the mausoleum. So you can always see your wonders when you look inside the city. So I got the great library, the mausoleum, the palace, which you start with. And then these are all the bones I got. My library is free. It doesn't have any upkeep because of the great library. So now we're working on the Parthenon. I'm going to add the queue, the temple, and the writer's guild. Uh, actually, her. Actually, I kind of want to go look at the queue now. So I should get that watermelon because it gives production, but. <clears throat> We'll just not worry about the watermill for now. Hey, get away from my workers. Oh, they're still alive. Damn it all. Alright, I'll have to plop you guys there. And click next attorney. <sighs> Turn 44, so... In a couple of turns, we'll be done of our first installment of uh, 
Mainino versus the world redone. I think those barbarians just suicided against my work, my warriors. So that works out pretty good. So we'll be in the Partenon before we're done, which is nice. I don't have calendar yet. Ah, oh, that sucks. But I am getting construction next turn. So <coughs> we'll be able to build a lumber mill in here. <coughs> which lumber mills are pretty awesome. Bam. Now the only issue about that is now I've got my archers are no longer there because I've got the uh, composite bowmen, which means they cost a lot more to buy because I wanted to buy an archer next turn. So I'm very, very smart at planning all this stuff out. <laughs> oh. But, oh well. All right. So, people with the pointy of sticks were at the bottom of the scoreboard with 32%, or I guess 32 power. And Thor's up there with 106. Makes sense. Thor's, Thor's a pretty, pretty, uh, not warmongery, but, you know. <clears throat> okay, so we'll get rid of that. Add the Q Stonehenge and Terracotta Army, then the Writer's Guild. Then the water... No. Yeah, the water mill. There we go. Someone's worshipping a new pantheon. Uh, the Blue Secret Path, plus one culture from jungles, which is what I usually do when I'm in a jungly area. Because that culture you get is so amazing. Oh my god. <clears throat> Alright. And now we got Barbarian Archers. Delicious. Alright, I'm gonna go here and we're gonna go try and kill them because we don't need no barbarian archers. So I'm assuming Thor has not dealt with any of the barbarians because he's kind of a jerk. <coughs> so we got the person on, we're making 17 culture per turn, which is really good. Um, now we can go with that wine. This lumber mill is done, yes. Yes, it is. Bam. Alright. Oh, yeah! They get double movement on hills. Haha, <laughs> take that, archers. Next turn. <clears throat> so, our next one, we're going to get a free worker, which we'll use basically to make a road between the two cities. And then that way, when he gets to the next city, he'll be able to start working all the tiles over here. Alright, uh, I'm going to work on a monument, and next turn. Oh, whoever's down here, Arlington. I wonder if that's Miss Marvel. So go to the city here. But this, the, we can put our third city there, which is kind of nice. <clears throat> so there must be another barbarian camp somewhere over here. This might be a good spot for a fourth city, because it's got some stone, cow, sheep, marble... Looks really nice. Oh, and it's turned 53. <laughs> Alright, um, so thank you very much for watching, and tune in next time for more Magneto Madness. Thank you very much. Goodbye, everyone.